Remember how weird your first mobile phone was? No camera, no screenshots, and yes, no touch screen. Working without a touch screen was an absolute disaster. But then came an innovation. In modern smartphones, started working on the basis of a capacitive touch screen. Our body has a very minute charge. When we touch the screen, tiny circuits sense the charge and function as per the user's needs. Capacitors are thus indispensable in the smartphone industry because they have other uses like suppressing mini voltage spikes and maintaining power supply to all parts during charging. Till now, China enjoyed a major stake in the production of capacitors in the country. But now, it is all set to receive a major shock as capacitors fly out of China. Hi and welcome, you're watching TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Piyush and in this video, I will tell you how Japanese capacitor manufacturing giant Murata is all set to end China's hegemony in the capacitor sector. Let's begin. Japan wants to demolish China's hegemony in the global electronics market. Recently, Tokyo invited semiconductor manufacturers from all around the world to set base in Japan. With this, Japan is moving towards absolute control of global semiconductor supply and is likely to peril China's consumer electronics industry that is heavily dependent on semiconductor imports. And now, Japan is targeting a new sector, capacitors. Currently, China is the world's largest producer of capacitors. But this has led to a change, as Japanese capacitor manufacturing giant has decided to shift production out of the communist country. Capacitors are devices that store electrical charges. They have various uses including energy storage, power conditioning, signal coupling or decoupling, electronic noise filtering and remote sensing. In the smartphone industry, they are used for various purposes like maintaining constant voltage, providing boost power when the phone is about to discharge and dissipating stored energy to function as a temporary power source for some time. Murata Manufacturing is looking to cut its dependence on China amidst the ongoing US-China standoff. Murata is the largest capacitor maker in the world. It supplies parts to the iPhone as well. The company supplies smartphone devices like filters for picking up some radio signals amplifiers for strengthening transmission signals and duplexes for managing incoming and outgoing signals. Murata's operations in China helped the communists become a leader in the capacitor market. But now, the Japanese capacitor giant is looking to move to Thailand to open a new plant in the Southeast Asian country in October 2023. As per Nikkei Asia, Murata president Norio Nakajima said that the new plant in Thailand will be expanded. Eventually, it will become as big as the one in Wuxi near Shanghai, where Murata produces multi-layer ceramic capacitors for consumer electronics. Murata Manufacturing is adapting to evolving geopolitical equations and changing business conditions. Presently, Murata is dependent on China for over half of its revenue. But the capacitor maker expects China's shares in its revenue to go down as the company looks towards the Indo-Pacific for future growth. Norio Nakajima said, there is a risk of events happening beyond our control. The Murata president took the example of an uncertain event like the US imposing technology ban on China. So it makes sense for Murata to run out with the communist country before any such things happens. He added, it is imperative to diversify our supply chain. Nakajima also pointed out that its key customers like Apple are also looking beyond China. This destroys the basic advantage that China had. A supplier would ideally want to stay close to its customers. And if customers themselves start shifting out of a particular location, then there is no use of staying in that location. Also, China is losing the advantage of cheap labor and a huge working class with its changing demographics. The Murata president said, The most populous country today may be China, but in 2030, that will be India. And further down the road, it will be Africa. He added, Will those economies be aligned with China or the US? We don't know. We should be able to respond to both scenarios. China's population is contracting at an alarming pace. It is estimated that China could see its population getting halved within the next 45 years. A slow birth rate of 1.3 and a higher life expectancy is ensuring that China is aging quickly. By 2050, 39% of Chinese population will be above the retirement age. This will take away the driving factor behind China's manufacturing prowess, cheap and ample labor. So, multinational corporations and manufacturing giants like Murata see no sense in persisting with Beijing and are shifting production out of the communist country. 